right, so you it think you're feeling a bladder infection or a UTI coming on, maybe you've had them before, and you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna like get this out of my system. Yeah. Um, First lines of defense, at least. Yeah, exactly. So uh, what do we know about a UTI um, or, you know, some sort of something brewing down there? There is bacteria that is unwanted in the urinary tract, so we can flush it out by drinking lots and lots of fluids. Yes. Um, and we also recommend the Cranberry juice. Cranberry juice, but not any cranberry juice. I mean, you, you probably, I think everybody knows to drink cranberry juice there, but you have to be careful because your enemy during uh, so many female issues or any issues is sugar. And there's a lot of sugar in all kinds of juice. And there's sugar that's naturally present in fruit and that's okay. But something like this is a cranberry juice concentrate. We sell this with our juices. But what's so good about this is it has all that good, strong cranberry in there. It only has nine grams of sugar in it because there's no added sugar. But because there's no added sugar, this is extremely tart. So what I would suggest doing is taking maybe like, um, taking maybe like like a couple ounces in a big thing of water. You could add a squeeze of stevia if you want, um, just enough to make the water kind of pink and it tastes pleasantly sour and you'll still get that good cranberry. And why is cranberry good? Because cranberry has properties that um, prevent the bacteria from adhering to your bladder walls, which is what it's all about with this kind of stuff. So you can either take it in this form in a drink or we have it in capsule form as well. Yeah, so many, so many different options. Yeah, there's so many different cranberry capsules, and that, and like I said, if you take it in a can in a capsule form, then you get no sugar. This one, they have uh, rose hips in there with it, so that provides a little boost of vitamin C for your immune mm. system. Um, yeah, and when you get it in a capsule form, you're getting a really concentrated way, so that is a really good way to do it. Um, but if you have a hard time with taking pills, or just rather keep it simple, try extract. I do not recommend drinking a bunch of cranberry juice. You wanna take it up a notch though? You're gonna want, this is a product called Utrac. It's called, it's, it's D-Manos. It's fantastic stuff. You should just buy it right now and keep it on the shelf in your yeah. cupboard because it's wonderful and doctors use it as well. And it's a simple sugar that again, kills that bacteria in your urinary tract and it has no flavor. It mixes into a bottle of water with no flavor at all. You can boost it up, put a little bit of this, a little squeeze of stevia, a scoop of D-mannose, sip on that all day long, stay super hydrated, no sugar in your diet, and <laughs> you'll be feeling good. You know, you can really fight it off really fast. So this is Utrecht. Like I said, it's a white powder, fantastic stuff. D-mannose, like you said, it's a simple sugar. It actually tastes a little bit sweet. It is a little sweet. As, mm -hmm. as it is, so it's really pleasant. And this product is one of my favorite, combines all of the above. It uses the dehydrated um, cranberry, mm -hmm. so it's all in powdered form. Um, there are blueberries in here as well, not whole ones, dehydrated, yeah. and um, D-Manos in here. This is, I think, the strongest dose you can get. Um, so really, really effective. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, some of these other products um, in combination with the cranberry use probiotics because they just help uh, help ward off the, the bad bacteria in your urinary tract by giving your urinary tract more of the good bacteria that you need. Um, so there's, there's definitely natural solutions um, that you can turn to when you have some irritation that you start to feel coming on. You've got discharge, itchiness. It's not right. Yeah. You don't feel right. You know it's coming on. You're mad. I get it. There's natural stuff for that too. Yes. Uh, yes. Most of it has to do with a balance of good bacteria um, because... This is good bacteria. Yeah. <laughs> Yeast uh, feed on sugar and when we have really sugary diets, I mean there's a, there's a lot of other things that can cause yeah. Um, yeast imbalances. Hormones. Yeah. Products. Yes. You, you're doing too much. Uh, soapy washing. Soapy stuff. washing. You thought it would be cool to use those cool wipes you saw at the drugstore. Sprays. Sprays. Etc. 
like yeah. lubricants. I, I, I don't know any. It could it could all throw you off balance. Yeah, and yeah, it's stress, hormone fluxes. You know, it, there's a lot going on down there, and it's a delicate balance. Yeah. So so there are a number of ways. I mean, I think most of us naturally um, want to wash it away, and right. I mean that that makes sense. Um, but the important thing is that you. If you are going to clean um, and you want to use a product, to to opt for something that is pH balanced um, and that is sort of a non-soap product. Um, we have a sensitive skin non-soap skin cleanser. Now you can use this all over your body. Right. A lot of folks use it just for their face. Um, but other sensitive areas of our body, it would be another uh, great use for. Right. Um, so make sure if you are using something to cleanse that it is pH balanced yeah. and non-soap. Yeah. Um, be gentle. It's meant to clean itself, but if you really have to, go with that. Yeah. So then, you know, we mentioned as well um, using lots and lots of good probiotics to get that good bacteria flowing in there. Um, there are specific uh, product formulations that include bacteria that live in your uh, urinary tract, in uh, all of your female parts. Um, and so there are special probiotics that you would want to purchase and uh, consume when you feel something yeah. um, is off. Um, these are just two examples. This one actually is a refrigerated product. Uh, there are live and active bacterial cultures in here, so we preserve them by putting um, them in the refrigerator. And there are some shelf stable ones as well. So if you're uh, traveling or on the go and you have this irritation, um, you know, some people even like to double up. Um, and that can be helpful. The higher the number on here in terms of count of bacteria, the stronger and more potent uh, the product is because it just contains more bacteria in there. And generally, if you have an imbalance going on, you want to opt for more. 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 And it can be pricey sometimes, but it, you know, <laughs> once you've been in that situation, you're like, I don't care, I need help. It's uncomfortable, yeah. Because there is prescription level things, you can go that route, and you know, and you should if you have a serious issue, obviously, but um, you know, these are some great ways to and handle it. And you can it. talk with your doctor about That's these as yeah. well. Yeah, and they will probably likely recommend that as well. So we have things that go a little step further. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Things that go a little step further is this is homeopathy. This is a product called Yeast Away by Boyron. It's really cool. It's kind of like a gel capsule type thing and it is topical. Uh, I guess is that topical? You say? Yeah. Is it, you ha it, it's a suppository and uh, it's very comforting. Um, and a it's been around for a long time. People turn to it over and over. It's a seven day thing. You, you, know, you do it for seven days in a row and it really does reduce the the actual live symptoms that are really irritating you. And like I said, it's it's homeopathy, so it's very gentle. It uses, you know, your body in a good way to influence it. Yeah, and then the best use of, of um, homeopathics is to basically get on this at the first that's sign. That's true. Yes. You know, really. You um, feel that little, you know, you, you know something's not right. Yeah. Or maybe you, you've back. been on antibiotics and Ooh, yeah, those that's tend to point. throw your, your system off. Um, you know, be a way to, yeah. to help treat that. Or maybe you have a, a candida uh, thing going on yeah. in your whole system. Even if you're doing a cleanse, sometimes it can kick something off yeah. like that. Here's the big guns, in our opinion. Um, so this is kind of a two-pronged approach. This kind of combines this with the heavy-duty. <laughs> Heavy duty probiotics. This is by Natrin, which is one of our probably easily one of our favorite uh, probiotic companies. This is a two part kit. It has a homeopathic, homeopathic treatment, same thing, a capsule that you can insert, and then a probiotic supplement. Um, it's a, I believe, a 14 day program, and it has everything is engineered perfectly to get rid of this on contact and from the inside. So this is a great product and you see women turn to this again and again and it's really a customer favorite for sure. And it's yeah. called Guy Natrin. 
It's good stuff. We love this company for coming up with a solution. So you can just come in here. This is in the refrigerated yeah. section. You just come in and pick this up and it's got everything you need. Yep, dual action vaginal health kit. Awesome. It's really a good thing. It's a great thing. So some great products. Don't be afraid, you can fix it. <laughs> Don't stress. time of the month we feel for you we, we do we do um, there are some things that you should know though if yes. you get uncomfortable rashes or just if you want to be really conscious about what you put down there you do again <laughs> lots of uh, drugstore varieties of feminine sanitary products are bleached or are plastic based scented scented yeah um, they're they're full of chemicals uh, that really aren't meant to be in contact with our bodies especially internally um, they, some of them are actually, uh, in some studies, um, not sure if they're carcinogens. Um, we can post a link uh, below this video to, to show you some of those studies. Because um, we want you to be able to, you know, make these choices and to know that there are, um, you know, organic cotton, fully 100% cotton based products uh, that are much more safe uh, to use once a month right, <laughs> right. Um, coming in contact directly with with your lady parts right um, and ones with applicators and strings I mean these really aren't that different at all no. from regular uh, from the experience that you would have from a regular uh, drugstore sanitary right. product they work the same yeah they absolutely do there isn't difference right um you can i mean and maybe she said that like i know that for example in some people i know a friend told me that sometimes she gets a rash at the, towards the end of her period <laughs> if they use you know uh pads that are scented or um bleached I think your body just rejects it after a while and you can get sore and rashy and it's really bad news and it took okay it was me it took me years to figure mm -hmm. out that that's what was going on and uh, and so now that I have switched to the natural products I don't have that problem anymore I think it speaks loudly of what these chemicals can do in close contact with your body like that yeah if you have sensitive skin don't chance it don't just even opt yeah. for the natural stuff and if you can't handle the idea of that at all, we have we sell Diva Cups here, which is another good option. Um, it's a BPA latex free cu uh, cup, menstrual cup. And it takes some learning and don't give up on it. Uh, you use it the first time, it may not work. You might have to learn a little bit about how to use it. It comes in two sizes. It's got a handy diagram of how to use it. And this is a really clean and eco-friendly way to uh, deal with your period for sure. So check that out. Cool. Okay, it's that time of your life uh, and menopause is hitting. Maybe you're in pre-menopause, you're going through menopause, um, or you're in post-menopause. Right. Um, there's lots and lots of symptoms that come along with this. Everybody's body is different. Um, you know, I'd say you could discuss with your girlfriends, but it's one of those things. What's happening to her might not be how you experience exactly. any of these stages of life. Um, right. So, you know, maybe you need some help uh, with this and you need a place that you can come uh, to just brainstorm about some natural products uh, that you can use. Um, talk Maybe. to your doctor too. Yeah, definitely. For 
for sure because this can be a, a tricky uh, thing to, to find balance at this time in your life. It really is. That's, that's what your body's trying to do. It's trying to find a new normal for you, yeah. trying to find a new balance for you. And there could be a lot of trial and error with it. And patience, be patient with your body, you know, and, and make sure you're working on the mental side of things too and staying calm and mindfulness and t take, uh, taking charge of your own health through your own wellness and and being, you know, cognizant that this is a huge change, you know. Yeah. So. And it's what your body's supposed to be going right. through. Right. You know, oftentimes the symptoms that you're feeling are totally normal. Right. Um, but they're just really uncomfortable. Like, I think one of the right. most common ones we get is, oh my god, I'm oh, having awful hot, hot flashes, flashes. And I yeah. just, it's keeping me up at night. Yeah. It's interfering with my life. Absolutely. Um, and you know, what do you do about this? There's right. stuff to do about it. There's right. homeopathic solutions mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. these that can help, you know, um, numb out those those hot right. flashes. And these are hormone free. These won't right. interfere with your cycles at all. So if you're already taking hormones or something like that, and you're like, well, I can't deal with any of the things that really amend my hormones, then these things would be a good option yes. for you to, uh, to be able to control some of those symptoms. Um, and then if you've known and you've spoken with your doctor, um, you know, maybe they want to put you on a, a progesterone cream or they recommend that for you, we do carry um, this yes. to, to help topically um, balance things out as well. Um, and then, you know, Carolyn mentioned um, also the many benefits of maca. maca. Yeah. It is a Peruvian root or root from South America um, yeah. and it helps balance hormones. Many clinical studies um, show that it, it can do that for the female body. Mm -hmm. Evening primrose oil, again, another one. Enriching your body with those good fatty acids help fill in the cracks and you know balance out some of the wavering craziness that's causing the symptoms. And then there are other um, herbal yeah. remedies that come along. This one in particular uses also Ayurvedic medicine, which mm -hmm. is an Eastern uh, methodology uh, for yeah. healthcare. Um, which might work better for you than, yeah. than Western medicine, so it's another thing to try. Absolutely. So know that, you know, there are, this is a, an additional one if you prefer liquid, know that there are many um, different types of options that can help provide you some more comfort while you're going through these changes in your life. So another stage in your life is perhaps is you're looking to get pregnant, you're looking to have that fertility, you're looking to start a family and that is another thing to think about. Mm-hmm. And you know, the nice thing is a lot of us nowadays, there's so many resources out there. Um, and you know, a lot of women are waiting later in life um, to uh, start a family and they're planning a lot of this and you know, they can get a lot of support through uh, natural options to help just regulate their hormones. You know, maybe you've been on birth control for years and you're going off now and so your hormones need to uh, to get resettled yeah. um, or you know you're trying and you're having some difficulty um, you know a lot of folks uh, families struggle with that and yeah. there are some you know natural options out there that can help uh, provide just a sense of balance right. um, in your system and just getting that optimal health and getting your hormones in really good shape and taking care of your body exercising eating well creating that perfect environment to create life. So, and, and then these products can help. This is David Winston's women's formula. It's a great general women's tonic. Uh, it's raspberry leaf, chaseberry, like we've talked about before, Dong Kwai, ginger, Romania. Uh, good general women's tonic. Mm -hmm. And um, Curamed uh, with a dim complex in here mm -hmm. is uh, another option. Um, just again, helping uh, approach whole body health from the sense of reducing inflammation, bringing things into yeah. balance, um, yeah, to a state where your body should be. Mm -hmm. This is a fantastic supplement. It's been around for a long time. That's a huge favorite amongst all of us. EstroSense, um, and you'll notice it has a little bit of everything. PMS support, effortless periods, healthy breasts, 
balance hormone. This is a great thing by Natural Factors. It's got turmeric, milk thistle, it's got the dim in there, rosemary, lycopene, I mean, so many things. This indole 3 carbonyl is another hormone balancing supplement. Uh, it's a fantastic thing, and I know a lot of women that take it and swear by it, because if it's off the shelf, we have a panic. So this is mm -hmm. another good one to bring in that balance to set up your body for the best environment. And it has the far, far reaching uh, things that you could take it at any point in your life also. It's a very, very good right. supplement. Right. So, you know. <laughs> We have, we have, we have what, what helps balance you out and for sure feel well. All right. <laughs>